Have you ever met Tim? You know, that guy who stands in bad things and is always looking for new and interesting ways to die. He's the guy who always misses his interrupts and blames everything on something else. His house caught on fire. Windows update started. He left his cat in the oven. Yeah, you know Tim. He always seems to have an excuse. Now Tim may actually have an issue, or may just be embarrassed by his 10th raid wiping failure. But let's be honest, Tim makes a lot of mistakes. He's a good guy, but he just hasn't put much effort into playing optimally. Now what's really holding Tim back? Or maybe, just maybe, it's his UI. Now nobody is born with the innate ability to raid. Of course some people are naturally smarter and faster learners, or more coordinated with their hands. But the best raiders aren't the best just because they were born with a gift. They're the best because they put in the time and they always seek to improve. Now let's take a look at the default UI and some problems with its uh, design. Uh, where to begin? How about the player frame? This displays the health and resources of our character. It gets the job done, but it's in a horrible position. See where my character is? It's nowhere near it. Well, how about the target frame? Yep, it's in the same awkward position, far away from my character, just where I don't want it. And look at my interrupt bar. Of course people are missing interrupts. It's, it's way up in the middle of nowhere. Now how about buffs? A lot of classes have buffs that they need to track very closely in order to be effective. These buffs can get lost very easily in a raid. Well, how about cooldowns and abilities? Well, this is down at the bottom of the screen. So there sure is a lot of looking around if we want to keep track of our UI. Now, I'm not saying that my UI is perfect. It's not. I'm always looking for ways in which I can improve it. However, over the years that I've played the game, my UI has deviated more and more from the default. Because, well, the default UI is horrible. So, a little known fact for starters. The game's UI is viewed through something called a viewport. This can be adjusted with a mod. This is a very powerful concept. Because you see, by adjusting the viewport, you can actually expand your peripheral field of view. In the game, of course. However, expanding it too much will distort the world altogether, so you need to find a balance. When you look at my UI, you can see that I've expanded my peripheral field of view, while also allowing for space for other UI elements without covering vast portions of my screen. So someone may look at my UI and think that I've got a lot of stuff covering up my screen, but in reality, I can see more than they can. I find this particularly helpful in situations where I need to do some in-game dancing. A lot of people probably look at the center of my screen and think it's messy. And fair enough, there is a lot of things going on there. I have short duration buffs and debuffs that I track. Below this, I have my resource, which is holy power. Below that, I have my priority order for my abilities. Those are the things that I'm going to use very frequently throughout the encounter. They are the things I need to be aware of at all times. They are positioned directly below my character, so that my eyes are always focused on the center of my screen. Below this, I have short duration warnings for DBM. This is particularly important for tracking abilities that could crush me, so I can effectively stop them. Right below this, I have a list of my cooldowns, and then my raid frames. Interrupts are important, and as such, being able to clearly see when a cast is going off is important. I use the mod cast bars for this. I have a cast bar for my target as well as my focus target and I have made them different lengths to differentiate the two. I use tell me when to track most of my information as I find it is very easy to organize the many bars that I use. In addition to all the things I've listed I also track short cooldowns like my interrupt or taunt I have another bar for the uptime of both personal cooldowns as well as external cooldowns that have been cast on me. Some fights have abilities that I like to track specifically, so I have bars for those as well. And of course I have another bar to indicate when I have the wrong seal or I don't have Righteous Fury so that I'm never going into a fight unprepared. 
I use Raven to enlarge and adjust my buffs and debuffs. Having large debuffs with very clear stack counters is important to me as a tank, but this would certainly be valuable for everyone. I'll leave a list of my mods below if you're interested in trying some of them out. I hope you have found this useful. At the very least, I hope it has made you think a little bit about your own UI.